Hey guys, what's up? Scooter here with Macintosh Tips. Today I'm going to show you Safari 5 extensions. Now, Safari 5 came out a couple weeks ago when the iPhone 4 came out, and basically what they did was they tried to make it more customizable, more open source, by letting developers create extensions or plugins or add-ons, whatever you want to call it, just like they can do in Google Chrome and Firefox. And some of your uh, some of the best developers that have created plugins for Firefox are now creating them for Safari 5. Uh, so today I'm going to show you just three or four of them that I found over the past couple weeks of using Safari 5 uh, constantly and using these uh, extensions. So open up Safari. Let's go ahead and just hop uh, first, let's go ahead and talk about uh, enabling extensions. You're going to go up here to Safari. You're going to go to Preferences. You're going to go to the Advanced tab, and you're going to hit Show Develop in Menu Bar. So just click that, and instantaneous you'll see Develop in the Menu Bar. Once you click Develop in the Menu Bar, go ahead and hit Enable Extensions. That's pretty important because that's how the extensions are enabled. So once that's once that's enabled, uh, just go back over here. You can check that off because you don't need it anymore. And now you'll have an extensions tab in your uh, preference, in the preferences pane. So now over here, basically when I download an extension, I will download it from a website. I will drag it from my downloads over to this left column. It'll drag and drop very seamless. And from here I can now go into each one of my extensions and hit uh, pr the preferences, I can even uninstall, so it's pretty awesome. And so today I'm going to show you shortly Tab Reloader, YouTube Wide, and Cool Iris. Let's hop into it. All right, guys. So first, let's go over and talk about Tab Reloader. Let's say I have two tabs open. For example, in the week of streams, when we had to keep updating uh, the donation page, we had to keep refreshing it. This Tab Reloader came really, 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 really in handy uh, because I just click the button. I can set it from 30 seconds to every hour. So let's say I want it for 30 seconds. This tab only will reload every 30 seconds. This tab here doesn't reload yet until I set it. So now I can click it again. I'll set it for one minute and boom. Oh, set it for one minute. And now this tab's for one minute, this tab's for 30 seconds. You kind of have this in Firefox. Uh, it's been out for a long time, but it's coming to Safari now. And Safari users are, are pretty happy about this. I'm happy about it. It works really well. I've had no bugs on it, and this is great. If I want to disable it, I just go back to the tab, hit disable on the right side, and it will disable. So will this one. It will disable as well. So very easy, very nice, very uh, very seamless. Tab Reloader, it's a free extension. You download it, and boom. It, it appears on the menu bar, and it works just like that. The next, uh, the next extension I want to show you guys is a URL shortener. Now you don't have to go to tinyurl uh, anymore or cuthut or bit.ly, whatever you use. Basically you just hit this button and it automatically tinyurl is a link. So I'm on apple.com slash iphone slash gallery. If I click this little icon here, a little window will pop up and there's my tinyurl right there. With a couple clicks or a drag I can copy and paste that link, hit OK and I'm moving on to the next one. If I want to go to uh, twitter.com for example, I'm on Twitter. All right, I'm on Twitter.com. If I click this link here, boom, it'll give me a little pain and tiny URL the link. Now, in the preferences, you can choose Bitly or any other uh, or any other URL shortener that it works with uh, for now. So you can customize it kind of to your liking. And also, one of the cool things is for Flickr photos, YouTube videos, it has its own special um, URL shortener. So if I go to this Charles Trippy uh, video. All right, and I private that, or, or I pause that, and you see this long nice. link here. Basically, if I hit the tiny URL shortener, it'll tiny URL, and you see there's a new YouTube uh, uh, kind of shortener here for all YouTube videos. It works seamlessly, and it's pretty awesome. So I just hit OK, and now I can copy and paste that as well. The only thing about this extension that I don't like, I wish it stored up all the uh, tiny URLs that you used. For example, if I, it'll store up that Apple um, URL that I just used on Twitter, but it doesn't. It's just a one-time shop. You copy and paste, and you move on to the next one. Now, you've already kind of seen my uh, next extension I want to go over because this video automatically opened up in the wide YouTube uh, screen viewer. All right, you know you can access the wide YouTube screen viewer by hitting this button down here. So this is how your YouTube viewer looks probably. And if you click this button here, it'll open up oh in wide screen uh, and in 480p. But with this extension that you uh, download for free, all YouTube videos will open up in this widescreen viewer, which I like. I like the bigger viewer better than the smaller one. So if I click the next video here, I'll click it, 
and you see okay, it's opening up and uh, in the big YouTube viewer. So this is pretty awesome, just you know, a handy free extension that just makes Safari 5 just a better experience. That's what all these extensions are doing. Now guys, the last extension that I want to show you today is Cool Iris. It's basically a viewer uh, for YouTube videos, photos, headline news. It's really great if you have multiple people over, all right, and you're trying to, you know, view YouTube videos or you're viewing a movie or you just want to show them a slideshow. This is just a cool thing and you can kind of show off your Mac to say, hey, look what my Mac can do and look what your PC can't. <laughs> um, it's pretty awesome. So I'm on a YouTube video. And here's a John Flakers video, right? So pretty much, if I click this link, there's a little icon here that pops up. And there is an icon here on the, in the uh, right of the menu bar, or the toolbar. But I do have this here, so I click this here. When I click it, it'll load. And these are pretty much all the featured or top uh, YouTube videos that are on YouTube right now. And the videos that are in my subscription box. So I can click them. And they will automatically play. The quality is not stellar. 1080p HD. But it's not, you know, crappy uh, quality. It's pretty, pretty decent quality. And I'm viewing it right here. What's up, everyone? John. I'm viewing it right here on my computer in this extension. I can click off of it. And I can view more. All right, so I can view this iPhone 4 numbers giveaway. It'll play seamlessly. Buffer pretty well. All right, this is all over Wi-Fi, obviously. Uh, I, I'll pause it, and this is cool here. I can show related videos. So if I click this related videos will pop up alright so I can click that and view that guy's video I can just go in here and hide whatever I want to do also down here at the bottom I can uh, do a couple things I can share this video I can favorite I can go to the web page and actually view it there and a cool thing here down here I can see more videos from Soldier Knows Best as you see it says other videos by Soldier Knows Best if I click that more of his videos will pop up so to navigate across this extension, you can really use just two fingers. You don't really need this little uh, arrow button here. Pretty much, you just use two fingers. I can scrub left and right on my trackpad as fast as I want. It's really awesome. It, it's really responsive. Also, I can zoom uh, back towards me, and it'll zoom back out. I can zoom up, and it'll zoom in. So zoom back, zoom up, scroll, and it's, you're going to get addicted to playing with it. I mean, it's just pretty awesome uh, how it works. I can come here. I can view a video, pretty seamless, pretty simple. Now, in the left side, you have several options as well. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's just Let's go ahead and pause that and get out of that. I just click off to get out of it. Now, I have uh, several categories, such as your computer. If I click my computer, I have my photo albums here from iPhoto. So I can click that. Uh, now I'm viewing all my photos in iPhoto uh, from this album. And it's really easy. I just go up here, click it, boom, on the Great Wall of China, straight chilling. I'm viewing it right now in the viewer. Um, also, there are several other categories. There's television, movies, music, and news. So, for example, if I click news, and let's go down to sports, it'll load pretty much all the headline uh, sports uh, videos or photos, whatever uh, that's going on right now in the news. So, if I want to click, uh, say I want to click this one here. I click the Phillies hold off the Reds. I click it. It'll play. And this video is brought to you by ESPN. So let's say I want to, you know, what, what else is ESPN help the sleeve? What else is ESPN viewing? So I can click this, it'll load, and if you notice, ESPN has now been added on the left side. So now I can just view ESPN. This is all the videos streaming from the ESPN server, uh, all the sports headlines, and I can just scrub through really seamlessly, really easy uh, through the video player. This is, works really well if you have a lot of people over and you want them to see some videos. All right, this also works great in uh, Hulu as well. I have a little search bar at the top. If I click the drop down menu, I can search Hulu. I can search one of my favorite shows, The Office. It'll load. It takes a couple seconds to load. And from here, I'm moving through The Office. These are all clips. Uh, and you can also find full length uh, season videos here as well. So again, there's music, movies, television. You can even work this with Facebook. If I get on Facebook, I uh, go to one of my albums here. I have a little icon here at the bottom on all my photos. I can click that little icon. It'll load. And basically all my photos from Facebook are here. You can do this with any album you want to. Uh, so these are all the photos I have in my profile pictures. I can just click one. It'll open. Again, I can share, uh, star, or I can go to the web page and actually view it. So guys, this has been Scooter with Macintosh Tips. I've showed you several extensions, such as Shortly, Tab Reloader, the YouTube Wide, and Cool Iris. 
These are some of the best extensions that I've found uh, while using Safari 5 over the past couple weeks. If you found any better ones, please let us know and just comment below or post a video response. My name is Scooter with Macintosh Tips. I um, hope you've enjoyed. If you're a new viewer, please uh, subscribe or check out more of our videos. Uh, I'm pretty sure they can help you. And if you're a regular user, check back for more content. Uh, have a nice day, guys. Peace.